All right, so we're here with Shiley, and the question is, how do you make a repeating pattern? And Shiley happens to want to make a snowflake, which is going to be unique and beautiful. Um, so we're in Animate. Do you have, do you have Shiley, some, um, are these shapes that are already in Animate? Yes. Okay, and then this is, this right here, all of this is your sketch that you brought in? Yes. Okay, and you're calling that image, is that right? And you've yeah. made yours a transparent image by having that little box on it. Um, yep, okay. Can you click on this keyframe so that I can see where that's clicking? Okay, good. So that's the only thing that you have right now. So you're wondering, how can I turn that into a repeating pattern, right? Like it's gonna kind of be like this, pizza pie. Is that right? Yes. Okay, cool. So let's, um, so let me see. Let me try to remember how to do this. The key to this is you're gonna turn this into a symbol. So click, um, you already have it selected. That's all you, that you need to do. Um, up above, there's something that's called, um, what, are, what does it say? So there's file and then edit. What else? Insert. Uh, insert, modify text. Okay, container. modify um, and convert to symbol. So the key to making a symbol is, and then hold on, hold tight because this shortcut, everybody's gonna wanna know because you're gonna do this a lot. You're going to, so modify, convert to symbol is F8. Okay, so that's all you have to do right now. Click that. Okay, now you're going to um, call it a piece of, let's wait, snowflake pie piece, maybe. <laughs> you can call it whatever part you want, like a snowflake part, snowflake angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't say okay yet. The reason why we don't want to say okay yet is we want this movie clip to be changed to a graphic clip. Let me explain the difference. A graphic clip is something that's an image that we can we can do a lot of things with an, with a graphic clip, and we're basically making an image right now. A movie clip is good for interactive. It's an animation segment that goes into an interactive piece that becomes one keyframe. It's a little bit more complicated thing. We don't need that right now. Click that. Turn it into a graphic clip. Good. Say okay now. Good. All right. So now what has happened is it's got that little box around it, right? And if you go to your library, um, click on that library, which is over here. Mm -hmm. It's living inside of here, right? And it says snowflake part, which is fantastic. There's two ways to get at this snowflake part. You can double click on the image part of it. You don't want to do it on the word or you're going to rename it. So click on the, this triangle circle, like this part right here. Double click there. Okay, so now you're inside of it. The other way to have done it was to do it on the stage where you double click on the image part because you have that box. Anytime you click inside that box, you would have got it. Let me clear this, this thing. But it is important to know that we're going to make like a pizza pie, right? We're going to do it like that. Okay, inside of here, call this uh, line just call it line. So rename layer one into line. We want to have good naming convention on everything that we do. Um, and you have it as one keyframe and that's cool. So if, um, so this is where we would do any editing. Okay. So we can here, we can add your blue, we can add more lines, we can test any new line here and then bring it over to another thing. So knowing that is kind of important. Now I want you to go back to this arrow. So we're going to the main stage, this is called. So it's back to the scene. And we want to click on this V tool. A v is a shortcut. It's the selection tool. Click that and take it. And you want to, like, if you want it there, really the key to it is we want it to be able to be shapes like this. So you have to decide how much you're going to, like if we were to subdivide this out, right? Where do you want your stuff to be? Do you want it to be like that? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then we need, so I'm gonna, we're gonna maybe a little bit ignore this because we need to understand like the technical part of this. We need like a shape that's like this inside that symbol. So we need a shape that's kind of this kind of angle and our lines are all going to be inside of it. We can make any lines that we want and we're gonna kind of run it as a test. And it's okay, we want things to go off that edge. Um, so, but just to show you kind of how this functions, let's have you go to your library just to show you how symbols function because we haven't done that part yet. Most everybody else is not making the symmetrical thing. So all that they would need to do is take the snowflake part, this picture part, not the word, and take it and drag it onto the stage. Okay, and you can hit Q, which is the rotation part. You can click on this, this right here and rotate by dragging and go, go up there. You've got that, so now turn it. Right, and you can hold down shift to make it go and snap into place. And you could just kind of keep getting them to, to, to work around. So for many of you, Erica, Adrian, Elliot, you might have repeating symbols that you're just going to make a shape and try to repeat it. With this symbol, if Shiley turns it to be blue, it will turn all the symbols blue. She could have 40 on there and they would all turn blue but we could have some be green if we wanted. And so that's all because this all lives in this library. So go over to your library one more time and take a look. In your library, you only have one snowflake part, even though you have two on the stage. So getting used to the way symbols works is a little bit tricky. Um, so next, I'm gonna clear this, um, Shiley, and I'm gonna now talk with you about um, trying to get it to work like a um, like a snowflake, which is the, the mandala, mandala symmetry thing, okay? Um, so can you hit delete on this? We don't want that one where it is, I think. Good, and we still have that one where, where it is. And by the way, none of these actually have to live on the stage. They can all live in the library. You don't have to have these things living on what we call the stage, which is this thing. Um, I got a couple questions for you, Shiley. Are all of these branches the same? You have, do they all look the same or do you have some, do you want, did you want some of them to look a little bit different? For the most part, they're similar. There are slight differences. Okay. For, for this, I and, wasn't sure if making it all look the same would look better. Yeah. Or changing them up. Let's start with just making a snowflake first, okay? Who knew making a snowflake would be so hard, but you know, we're not God or the weatherman, so <laughs> it's a little tricky. I think the way to do it is to make a shape that is one sided shape, okay? That has a cut and also only goes to so far because of the way that you've designed these, see how you have like this stuff? We're gonna try to repeat that idea and you have it, but we wanna kind of make more of it. You see how we want more of that stuff? So that's the first thing that you need to do. So go into, you need to get back into this symbol. Do you remember how to do it? The library? Yeah, you can actually, so you're gonna go, you can go to the library or you can click here. It's, I like working in context a little bit more. Click on your V tool or click V on your keyboard. Good, click on that symbol. Just click on that black line. Good, now double click. Good, now you're in it, do you see it? and it kind of went on top and you're in it because it says so right here. Okay, so what I wanna have you do is make, make more of this line up to here. You wanna finish that line, you wanna do that. So make that and spend some time making that pretty thing. And you can go over, it's okay if you go over, okay? Can you make that? So spend some time making that. I'm gonna check on these other students. Any questions that the other students have about Shiley's thing? Okay, so um, Elliot's got this awesome uh, card. It's, what, what are we calling them? Card box set sides. <laughs> so it's, when it sits in a library on a shelf, it looks fantastic. 
What I want to show you, Elliot, and to the rest of everybody is how to use the ink bucket uh, line tool. So, and since you've got these hearts and spades and stuff, let's show you how to alter that. So let's um, let's start by doing, let's make just a line, a new layer here, clicking the plus button for, let's call it, do you want to do hearts or clubs or spades first? Um, just... We can go ahead and do um, the hearts first. Okay, so name that hearts. So hearts uh, rain or whatever you want to call it. Rain of hearts. Okay, now go to your library, which lives here. And um, there's, we're doing hearts, right? So click yeah. on this and you see that's your heart. So um, I want you to double click on heart. So double click just on the picture part. Good, this is the heart, but this is the pink heart. It's like the magenta one and it doesn't have a line. So I want you to go to this keyframe right here. Awesome. Yeah, let me uh, clear my drawings and hit F6, which is new keyframe. Con yeah, or insert keyframe. Mm -hmm. Blank or just normal? Keyframe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So what that did is it gave us a little black dot. What that did was it kind of, it copied that symbol over. It's, it's not a symbol in a symbol. It's just um, a new version of it. So if we take what we have here, this new heart, and we change it, we can tell it in the timeline to become either keyframe one or keyframe two. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this tool. We're going to use lines around it. So instead of taking your pencil tool and drawing around it with your heart, you're going to, well, hold on a second, because that is the paint bucket tool. Sometimes if we hover over it, it gives us the other tool, but you don't have it. So you need to click on those triples. This right here is Take it and drag it and you can put it right on top. That's usually where it lives, good. So now if you hover over the bucket tool, it'll give you the ink bottle tool. So I'm gonna clear my drawings and now um, you have like a dark color there, it looks like, so that looks good. First, I want you to click off because it's selected and we don't want it to change to this color. So click with your, yep. Now click off, like click on the white, good. Now grab your ink bucket tool, good, and click right on the line. Bam, okay. Is that like a transparent color or something, Elliot? This? The, the line color. So go to the line part, click on that, alpha 100. Can you click on this line right here? Click on a dark color. Do you want it to be dark? Like what color do you want your lines to be? Um, I think I was using the navy, but okay, once so I- Find the one that you want. Um, all right, we'll just use like this one. Mm -hmm. Now dump it again. Okay, now the key to this one is it's like super tiny. It's like the size of a card. Well, yours is going to be tiny anyway, so I think it's going to be okay. Um, now with your V tool, click on the inside where it's pink and delete that. Okay, now you have a line. Now I want you to scrub the timeline and you're going to scrub back and forth. And you see you have heart and you have line, heart, line, okay? Now you can erase wherever you want to, to kind of open it up, right? In your drawing, you kind of had them open, right? So you can keep this and I would actually go, let's make another keyframe. F6 is a shortcut, insert keyframe. Mm -hmm. Now um, I'm gonna clear my drawings. Take your eraser, the eraser has modes. So the, this is the eraser mode, click and hold that. And you can erase lines, so click that. Um, if there was a fill, it would only erase the lines and that's pretty cool. So go in there and erase the parts you don't want. You don't have to scrub so much. So let go, it'll pop, see? So you just go click, see? And you can also bracket up. So these tools on your keyboard bracket up for size, or you can use that. So Elliot's in properties, and then Elliot had had tools already up. Sometimes you have to find the tools, and there's a size. So you can find where you want to remove it and change it. You can also um, 
maybe before you do that, you could um, you can change the shape by stretching and stuff like that because you had different kinds of shapes. Okay. So, but scrub this and you'll see you have three versions of, of the heart, right? Mm -hmm. And you could have many versions. And I think you might want to because you want a lot of different ones. So here's the key to what we're gonna do now. We've made some really cool versions of this heart. Now we're gonna go back to the main scene, click that. And I'm gonna clear my drawings and we wanna bring some to here. So you're gonna open up your library and you're gonna take this heart and take it and drag it to there. Good. Now grab, grab your V tool and take that heart and hold down option or alt on your PC and just make like three of them. Okay, good. Now you're on this one, go to properties, which I think is this. Okay, frame picker, click that. Choose which one you want. Good. Now go to this one or another one, whichever one, and choose which one you want. Good. Now hit Q. That's transform, make one bigger or smaller or thicker or skewed. Okay. Mm -hmm. See? Um, and click off. Okay, do you see how you're altering? So you could have like four or five and they all look a little bit different basically with your line, but your skewing will still keep it all consistent. And if you go back to your library and check it out, we haven't altered the uh, that. So click on this double heart, like click on that, double click. This is where it lives and you can scrub this timeline and you can always change that. You can always come back and edit these and it will edit everything that lives on the main timeline. Super cool. This is what makes Animate great for imaging. What do you think, Elliot? I like it a lot. It'll make it a lot easier. Yeah. There's your little magic bullet for the day. Thank you. Yeah, symbols. It's called a symbol, and we're repeating shapes using symbols. There is a video on the on the Digital Imaging 2 website called uh, Repeating Shapes Using Symbols.